Hey guys, we're back. So I just realized something, which was kind of neat, is, uh, so shield, I, I do see one advantage with the shield, is that I can move with it. However, with this guy, if I hold the attack button down, I actually don't, I, it, it, it blocks for me. So what we're going to do is we're going to equip a short sword, and then we're going to go and equip this guy. Basilard, I think I'm saying that correctly. Probably not, probably not at all. Oops. And then we're gonna go ahead and reorganize everything. And now we have a heavier hitter and a lighter hitter, but I'm able to block with it still. Oh, 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 Gladius! <laughs> Don't even need the short sword anymore. Yeah. All right. Now the elevator isn't working right now, we have to activate it, and the chain is glitched. Great. Oh, this ISO is probably the best ISO I could find. That is sad. Alright, into the long library. Which, there, there's a reason why it's so long. Those guys, I, I, I have been under-leveled and have fought those guys before, and I don't like them. And why is my backup not working like my scoot? I am trying to scoot away from those guys, and I'm just not doing it well enough. Um, straightforward, no, we want to go up. Straightforward leads us to a little space that we don't need to go to right now. Because we don't have the anti-gravity. Oh, no! Yeah. This guy's going to do minimal damage to me. But he's going to keep me cursed, which I can't use my weapons. The only thing I can use are spells at that point. To do my bidding. Yeah, do my bidding. But everything in this library tries to kill you. From ectoplasm to, uh... Fencers... Undead fencers to books. And magic tomes. It's, uh, it's pretty fun, actually, in a not fun sort of way. Ow. Hooray. We, uh, we made it past thus far. I am just taking all these guys on one at a time. Trying to be cool about it because up here these magic tomes They're gonna attack you three at a time, and they're a little tankier But at least I have the fairy scroll and what that does is it tells me what I'm attacking So that's how I knew it was a magic tome or how those guys were spell books or flea men um, Well, I mean a lot of these enemies are from earlier Castlevanias but Not all of them and some of them, you don't know their names, like that guy. You wouldn't know his name without the fairy scroll, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, because there's an H in a funny place for me. So I'm going to guess Doron. But oh no, he was about to wreck my day. So there's areas that I can't get to yet without the leap stone or being a bat. But fortunately, uh, one flows right into the other. Once I get the leap stone and I come back here and I go into certain areas, I can get other things. But what we're going to do is try to It's been a long time, old one. Oh, it's you, Master Alucard. What do you need? I need your help. Young master, I cannot aid one who opposes the master. Then at least give me your sweet hat. Won't go unrewarded. Really? In that case, just tell me what you need. Okay, so I told you guys before that the library is uh, glitched. So here it is. I'm interested in this. We can't see what all is what. So we do need this. Like, that is a thing that we need. And then, um... I 
don't think there's anything else that we absolutely need to buy in here. With the exception of, there's one thing. So, like, the forest cape, I think we find later. We might have to buy it. Um, that is Jacob's Cloak, I think is what it's called. You can change the colors of it in the system menu and look kind of swanky. And then, um, other than that, the map, which I'm going to tell you, that basic map is useless. We do have an enemy list. The problem is... You see the problem yet? Yeah. So, I am sorry that the library is so glitchy. Um, again, I'm going to try to get another disc. I'm afraid to resurface mine in case it ever does start working again. But we'll, we'll figure it out, guys. I am going to ignore all of the enemies now. I've just got you on ignore now. Ignore! Ignore! Oh! Ignoring was bad! Ignoring is bad! Ah! Ow, 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 ow! Oh man, they are wrecking my day. And those spell books aren't gonna stop. Okay. Now you guys have an idea of what that does. <laughs> um, oh, oh no, but there's still stuff. Ah, no! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh no, 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 no! Oh no, and I'm cursed. Oh no, 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 and I don't have any mana! No! No, 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 no! Come on, come on! Touch your spirits! Ah! Oh, I can hit you again! Oh, that was scary! Because uh, I've seen a hundred hit points turn to nothing very quickly before. And uh, in this game, that's kind of a regular occurrence! Ow! Yes, thank you. I'm cursed twice, I understand. Which, I don't even think I can throw my axe. Oh, I can! I, in all the years I've played this game, I never knew that I could do that still. Oh! Ah! Oh my goodness. Perry, repose. No! Evil skeleton man! Bonehead. Okay. So obviously... Now we can open the blue door that we were having trouble with before. Actually, uh, no, I'm not going to worry about the elevator right now. Because we have to come back here. Not a surprise. You guys are about to see the first bit of backtracking. And uh, the backtracking... Like, I know I'm, I'm missing out on the Spirit of Wolf and whatever. But right now, the Spirit of Wolf isn't going to help us much. It's supposed to help us run faster, but in this corridor, without the power of Wolf, running faster means nothing. So, just, uh, bear with me a second. We're, we're gonna do some, uh, ow. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like it. 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 Hey, look, a leather shield. Maybe that's the game telling me to switch back to a shield. I refuse. Not when I can do that so easily. Oh, you know what? I just realized I only have 63 hit points. There we go. Much better. Just take all the life force out of all the enemies. Blood you dry. I'm not even mad. A little worried, but not mad. Whew. Like, tactically, I can see how that could go bad. But then again, I don't always need a shield. There are some bosses where it's like a shield is more convenient. But we're going to try this for a little while because I kind of like having both uh, a fast weapon and a strong weapon. Especially if one can be used as a sword shield, like a Madu, 
which I'm probably now talking all over your heads, and I'm, I'm going to be talking Florentine, which, uh, <laughs> Florentine is the act of using a sword shield in your offhand, and it's, it's a fencing term, so, uh, there you go. You learned something today. A lot of people refer to Florentine as dual wielding, which, uh, there isn't really any, uh, any evidence of dual wielding in, in actual combat. They did it in tournaments, um, but, wow, I went way off base. Okay, I'm sorry, guys, that just, I just ranted there for, like, a, a minute or five. Oh, I love this song. Crystal Teardrop. Ow! Spear guard. No, no. Oh, ow! Ooh. You punks are gonna be the death of me. I wish you bled. Uh, <laughs> that's really awful to say, but kind of true all at the same time. No, I still want, I still want my, uh, yeah, I want my axe. There was once upon a time, bandana, we're going to equip that instead of my sunglasses. Because my defense goes up and my intelligence goes up. And, uh, I, I kind of like not having a dumb character. <laughs> Intelligence is uh, crucial to leveling and gaining more mana. Uh, what's down here? Is this where I I do want to eventually go down there? I'm gonna go down the other side though, where it's more of an adventure to go down. Ow! Good night, sweet prince. Oh wow, I just realized how, how many hit points I have left. Which is like none. Uh yeah, I think that goes down to a pit of despair. And I want that. I want that so bad. Because healing is a thing. Hooray coffins! Ah. Aww. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I made the jump for a hundred dollars. We and I missed the other torch. Hooray. Um I think I wanna go this way first to save. Because you know there's a save every five seconds. There's a reason for that here though. Because we're about to hit up another stage, kind of. I can't remember if we want to go down or not. Yeah, we do. Okay, so... Down here is something, but... I need the oarsman before I go down there. So I'm not going to go down there yet. But I am going to go this way and fight off... The thingy ma bob Bob McThingy! Ow! Uh-oh. Okay, I got nervous during that spell. You know what I just realized? I never taught you guys how to do soul steal. Um, that, that might have to change. Ooh, 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 ooh. So, the mythos for vampires is running water hurts. So that's running water and I'm hurt. Like that's how that goes. <laughs> However, there's something that has trapped me down here and we're gonna go face it head on. Ugh. Ow. Oh. 
Ow, 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 ow. Okay. So it's a complicated movement. I'll teach you later when I'm not dying. got to them all. Just gonna take some of my health back now, you evil thing. Ow. Yeah, though, lady, you kinda deserved it. Now it's trying to make me go this way to get the crystal cloak. Now that I've got the crystal cloak, I'm going to equip it after I equip it because the crystal cloak looks amazing. All right, guys, I will see you in the next episode of Dark Caverns and Axe Throwing Stuff.